This is Pastor Brandon coming to you live from Salem Springs, Arkansas with another live devotional for you today. And it's good to be here this evening and I want to thank you all for tuning in for those who will be tuning in and uh, those who are tuning in. Uh, thank you all for for that. And uh, we're going to be talking a little bit about tonight about studying to studying to show yourself approved unto God. Okay? And we're going to talk a little bit about that tonight. And then I have uh, an announcement I'm going to make after this devotional. But before we get to the announcement, let's go ahead and dive into the devotional, shall we? Now, if you have your Bibles with you, please turn with me to 2 Timothy chapter 2. And we're going to start in verse, we're going to read from, at, we're, going to, we're actually going to read verse 15. That's going to be our devotional tonight. 2 Timothy 2.15. It says this, <clears throat> study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Amen. So let's, what does that mean? What does it mean to study to show yourself approved unto God? Well, here's the thing, folks. Um, when you study, don't study to show yourself approved Onto man. You know, that's the thing. Um, when you study to show yourself approved on a man, then you're really just another Pharisee. Okay? Because Pharisees want you to study, study to be approved by them. Okay? But here's the thing. The Bible says that we are not to we we it is better to it is better to fear God than it is to fear man. Amen. So let me just really quickly here, let me just pull that scripture up because I don't want to just say that and just have you take my word for it. And so let me just hang on a second. Uh let's see here. New Testament. Let's see here. Let's see here. Uh, let's see here. I can't find it. But anyways, here's the thing. <clears throat> I don't want to waste too much of my time. But here's the thing. If we are showing ourselves a, are approved unto, unto man, then we are Pharisees and we're nothing but man pleasers, okay? And um, not, hang on, I just, I'm sorry, I just, let's see here. here okay so turn with me i want you guys to turn with me to acts chapter 5 acts 5 okay i want you to hold your place in second timothy and turn with me to acts 5 okay now the context of this is that the people are demanding peter and the apostles to not speak in the name of jesus okay now <clears throat> it says um, let's see here. Chapter 5. Let's see here. 29. Hang on a second. Something's not right. Um, but anyways... Scripture tells us, it says, And Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than man. Okay? So why do I bring that up? Well, <clears throat> when you study to show yourself approved on man, okay, you're, what you're really doing is you're really giving in to man. You're really just being a man pleaser and doing what pleases man. Okay? But the Bible says... Okay, so let me repeat that again. So when you, so when you, um, 
when you study to show yourself approved on a man, you are a man pleaser and you fear man. But the Bible says that we're supposed to study to show our, show ourselves approved unto God. Okay? Now, why is this? We need to study to show ourselves approved unto God because this, so that when we study to show ourselves approved unto God, that means that we fear God. And what, and what do I mean by that? It means that when we fear God, that we will do whatever He wants us to do. And so... What, if we fear God, we will study to show ourselves approved unto God. Amen? But it doesn't stop there. It says, A workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Here's, here's another reason as to why you need to study to show thyself approved unto God. Okay? Because number one is that it is by the Holy Ghost and by His word. Okay? Because... You know, Jesus said that my words are spirit, okay, and, and life, okay? And we need to learn how to rightly divide the word of truth. And, and we need to have discernment, amen? And, and the Holy Ghost helps us with that discernment. <clears throat> and, and, and by that, when we dive into the word and when we study to show ourselves approved unto God, okay, the Holy Ghost will help us to discern uh, spiritual things through his word. Amen. So when we study to show ourselves approved unto man, okay, we're only fearing man and being a man pleaser. But if we study to show ourselves approved unto God, we are then God pleasers and we only want to do what is pleasing to him. And by the way, without faith, it is impossible to please him. Amen. So my question is, are you willing to study to show yourself approved today? Are you willing to, to, show, to study to show yourself approved unto God and have God approve you rather than man? Because let me tell you something, man will fail you. Man will disappoint you. Okay. It is not your job to please man. Your job, our jobs as believers is to please God and do whatever he wants us to do and to fear him and love him. And how do we love him? We love him because we know he first loved us. Amen. So listen, I want to challenge you guys today. Let's continue. Let's always study to show ourselves approved each and every day. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. So anyways, I know that was kind of a very short thing and I apologize. I really didn't have a whole lot to prepare for. Um, it was kind of more of a spur of the moment thing. But I do have an announcement I'd like to make. Okay. So <clears throat> the announcement is I am going to, I have officially, I officially have a, a sermon audio page all up and running. Okay, and so with every video that I do, I'm going to be uploading my my videos on Facebook and on YouTube. I'm also going to be uploading them on Sermon Audio. Now, with Sermon Audio, with Sermon Sermon Audio, I do also have a uh, I also do have a thing. Where you can actually go and actually listen to it. I gotta think. I keep forgetting the names. Okay, the podcast. Okay, there's a podcast that I actually have, um, but you can't actually go into the pod. Now, if you have an iPhone app or a phone that has apps, you cannot go into the podcast app to search me. Okay, um, if you want to add me on podcast, what you need to do is if you have a phone that can download apps. You need to download the Sermon Audio app and you need to find me. And once you find me, and once you find me, um, there is a thing on my page. If you go through the app, there is a thing on my page where you can actually, um, you can, um, uh, let's see here. You could follow my podcast. It'll take you to the podcast app and you can uh, follow me there as well. Uh, but on the podcast app, I do have teachings on there as well as sermon audio. Uh, I know that's a little confusing, but if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to uh, you know message me on Facebook or email me or whatever your means of communication to me. Whatever that might be, uh, feel free to ask. I'll be more than happy to 
help point you in that right direction. And um, But anyways, I just want to let you know that I am now officially on Sermon Audio. And this video is going to go on there. And I know it's kind of like a pre-test video. But I wanted to you know put something new on there. Now starting this week, starting tonight, every video that I do will go on again on Facebook, YouTube, and Sermon Audio. So whatever means of, of communication and stuff... You can, you will always be up in touch with what I preach on. Amen. So with that said, listen, I love you guys. God bless you. Uh, tomorrow, uh, don't know what we're going to do yet. Keep me in prayer, but uh, please pray for me tomorrow to what to preach. And um, tomorrow, we're going to get back into uh, uh, Fishers, Fishers of Men. And then we're going to be getting into Pastor Brandon Live on Tuesday. And Thursday is going to be Fishers of Men. And Friday is going to be Pastor Brandon Live. Amen. Uh, so with that said, listen, I love you guys. God bless you. You have a great, great Sunday, rest of your Sunday and have a great week. Love you guys. See you tomorrow. If the Lord willing, God bless you. Yep. See you. Bye.